Episode eight. Episode eight. Welcome Mama back. Birds podcast. Only two Mama Birds today. You're stuck with just us two again. Mom and Ashton are up at our cabin in Flagstaff. Such well-traveled women. Yeah, they they get there. <laughs> Me and Jordan it. struggle to get there as often as they do, yeah. but anyways, that's good. It's good for them. It's been so yeah. hot here. So they were up in the cool weather with some rain. Which and has we been are, nice and overcast. Yesterday. Yeah, it's been so overcast here, which is nice. Yeah. Look at us talking about the weather <laughs> to begin a conversation. <laughs> I love it. You know what, though? Like... You know how people don't like talking about the weather? Mm -hmm. I actually don't mind talking about the weather. I mean, it's something that impacts us all. It imp- so, it's, like, it is it's something initially to talk about. a common ground thing. Yeah. It's you imp- get why people talk I about think it. People just don't like talking about it because it's like, oh, everyone talks about yeah. the weather. I'm like, but it's okay but it's if it's a good intro into yeah. a conversation. And it's because, affecting us yeah. in probably the same way. Yep. And then you can mm-hmm. segue into. What's your favorite climate? (laughs) Okay, yeah. What is your favorite climate? If you could pick your favorite weather. Mm. I always say, like, in heaven, God's going to make it, like, sunny and 75 with an ocean breeze. That's my favorite. Um, Yeah. I feel like that is probably mine. I love when it's just, like... Maybe even a little cooler for you, I want it to be, like, in the 60s. Oh, yeah. It's a little cold for me. With, like, every other day being overcast. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm, like, never clouds. (laughs) I love overcast. I don't necessarily love it raining all the time, but I love, like, the vibe of overcast. I know you hate that. Like... I don't mind it every once mm. in a while. Because I I feel like it only gets to be, like, 60 degrees around Christmas time, so I think it reminds me of Christmas when it's, like, overcast and... There's There's one day... You know how, like, we have, like, core memories that it's, like, yes. there wasn't even anything significant that happened. But you but just remember, like, I just remember random parts of so it. I just remember so much. So, it was when you were still living at mom's house, and I was living down the street, but um, it was, like, a rainy day, and for some reason, me and you were just over at your house, and mom was somewhere. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But we were just, like, hanging out. It was, like, rainy outside. We were listening to music. Yeah. And mom brought home a bag of Dunkin' Coffee. Oh, um, we... Yeah. Yeah. we, like, had coffee. Aww, we made... And it was just, sweet. like, such a good day. It was just, like... You know what? So Those chill. are the best. Like, it really, when it's just relaxing. Yeah. It's weird to think about your life before, like, kids. Oh, my gosh. It was like, so relaxing. Just so... Even in my most stressed days. <laughs> You're like... I feel so stressed, well, but you have no idea. It's so funny because, like, when you have, without kids, you truly only have yourself to care for. And yeah. you know what's interesting? Thinking about, like, mom, we never knew her in her, like, pre, like, raising kids yeah. state. So it's like, we never got to see mom in the way that, like, yeah. we remember so much of our lives. She probably would have stressed me out. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she, I feel like she was. Like, <laughs> but I feel like I probably stress you out too. <laughs> yeah. Another one of my core memories, which I know this is one of yours too, and it was raining, was when See, rain. Yeah, is good. rain. It because it doesn't happen here, so we probably yes. like it's tie like, like good. Well, and then we do fun things. Remember though, mom took us to Pita Jungle, and we got cheesecake and coffee, yes. Yes. and we just sat there mm-hmm. and just had cheesecake and coffee. So good. Yeah. yeah Pita we Jungle used to, cheesecake. We did that a few yeah, times. Yeah, we did. That was like. But they changed their cheesecake. Their yeah. turtle cheesecake is not Pita the same Jungle anymore. Pita Jungle changing everything, to be honest. It's like not people... Not for the better. No. They, people sell out and just start like cheapening things and doing yeah. that. I mean, I still love Pita Jungle, but it's definitely not what it was. Yeah. Probably like five years ago even. So true. And it's location too. Because yes. like the one on Bell is different than the Norterra one. Yeah. I different. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. Pita Jungle, if you're listening... <laughs> We miss you. <laughs> but you make a great margarita. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least they haven't that skimped stayed, on the drinks. That's that stayed the thing. consistent. Yeah. And, like, most of the time it's a good experience, which that can be at any restaurant. Yeah. It can be good or bad. But so this episode, since Mom and Ashton are not here, we decided to do kind of like a, just an interview fun, fun like, style. Yeah. Like, I guess an extension of what maybe me and Jordan would talk about at, like, dinner. Yeah. I Brett mean, helps me with my questions, so oh, it's well, going to be Well, they're going to be better than mine. I just, like, well, randomly, like, we each, okay, we each we wrote been down, like, ten yoked, questions but then to Brett ask said each other. going to help me, so. Great. They're interesting. Well. They're good. 
Well, now I feel bad. Oh, I no, didn't because much time. No, I feel like okay. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, do you want me to ask you first? Or so do you are we want doing like one, one? Or are we going to do all of yours and then all of mine? Let's, what do you think? I don't care. Whatever you think. Um, I feel like we should do like one, one, okay. because then we won't get overwhelmed with. Yeah. No, I agree. Because it'll feel like you're like attacking yes. the questions, yeah. you know? And then after a while, it'll start to like. I'm having caffeine too, so oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna get jittery and yeah. nervous. Okay, let's do it. Okay, all right. Do you want to first? Let me pull up my questions, dude. I, I don't know why. Hang on, let me count these. What did you get? <laughs> like one short, but I will think. That's of it. okay. You'll just think. I it can be just a power. The thing was, is I dashed and didn't number. Oh, that's fine. So I didn't count the dashes. Yeah. Gosh, or maybe I'll just steal I'm one of mine. Such a dummy. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Okay, who do you want to go first? You go first. Okay. Do you want, I shouldn't ask, I'm asking so many questions yeah. for the prereq. Do you want an easier one or a heavier one? I don't one? care. Just ask. Okay, let's just go from a little lighter. Okay. Okay, because my first one was kind of a hard hitter, so I'll give it you a right second. right in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is your nightly bedtime routine? Like, what does it look like once the girls go to bed, like, for you? Oh. What is everything you do to go to bed? And then what is your, like, bed setup? What do you have to have next to you and all things to sleep? Oh, okay. Does that so, make like, sense? So, like, what do I do after the girls go to bed? Or yeah. what do I do to get ready for bed? Yes, that. Everything. Just everything? Yeah. Like, okay. once the girls are asleep, what does the rest of your night look like up until your head hits the pillow? <sighs> I usually will come downstairs and I will try to, like, straighten up whatever is straightened up. Or I'll come down and I'll be like... <sighs> There's so much. And lean then on the I counter. lean on the counter and I just scroll and then I get like bummed that I didn't clean and <laughs> nothing is productive. But we all do the counter lean. Yeah, the counter lean usually. I'll take my vitamins. I will usually have a snack and I'll either. What depends kind of what snack? time it is. I really like having a doughy cookie. Ooh, do you cook it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to only eat the dough, but now I, like I, I love baking them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ever since you started baking them, I'm like, it's not that big of a deal to bake no. it. Just bake it. Do that and then I'll either watch something with Brett or it depends what time it is. <laughs> you yeah, okay? Sorry. Yeah. I had like a such a crazy tickle. Oh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's it depends good. what time it is. Because lately Lately, I feel like bedtime has just been a nightmare. Like, we'll get ready to bed, and then almost exactly an hour after she falls asleep, she has a night terror. Goodness. So often. <laughs> so then I go back up so there. So part of the routine is calming down a night yes. terror. <laughs> Which is, like, more so emotional for me, mm-hmm. but, like, I know that she's okay, and she doesn't remember it. So. And if, you, if your kids have had night terrors, send us messages on what you have done, because mm. Chip is getting them now, too. I go, and I do the exact same thing now. I hold her really tight. And I just, like, I pray over her. And then I just, like, say, Mommy's here, Mommy's here, Mommy's here. And then I'll sing a song to her. And then she calms down. Okay. But she does, like, as I'm holding her, she is, like... Like, flailing. She's freaking out. She's freaking out. And mm-hmm. it's really weird because she's not awake at all. Yeah. She's just like, Mommy, help me, help me. You need to save her. Like, she says really sad, like, pitiful yes, things. Of where course, I'm like, your kid says terrible sad I'm like, things. I am... I don't know what you're doing, but I, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, so, yeah. And then I usually, I always shower at night. So Do I you shower, shower every night? Yes. Unless it's a day that... Like, do you wash your hair every night? Yeah, just about. Unless I, had, like, just had walked. If, so... <laughs> if it was a day I did not go to the gym, and so I did my hair, yes. like, from start to finish, and so I went to bed without sweaty hair, then... Then you I don't. will not wash it that okay. day because it'll be a perfect ponytail but the next day. every gym day you wash your hair. Yes. It's been so humid and I like... Is it, there a time where do you it. don't? Because I feel like me and you went through like we never washed our hair. Or did you always wash hair and I just I didn't. always wash my okay, hair. Okay, so you I didn't. just didn't. Yeah. I still... I, yeah. yeah. I wash my hair so much more now. Just yeah. so you know. I just... I like to wash my hair. I don't know. I don't judge anyone for well, not washing you know, their like hair. When I you, just personally the prefer The bummer it. about not washing your hair is because you put it up in the shower, but then, like, you're going to get the drips. Mm-hmm. And so then your hair is, like, almost, like, frosted yeah. with water. Yeah. And then it's just annoying. And then you yeah. get that The wet. frizz. Yeah. I get the frizz. Mm-hmm. I, have to, I have to flat 
flatten it out. Yeah, no. Okay, anyways, keep but, going. So I take a shower, and then I'll usually put on my self-tanner. I usually watch Gilmore Girls while I shower and do my How tanning. How is that going, Gilmore okay, Girls? Okay, my goal the update is to She's have still it, going. Yes, I'm still going. My goal is to have it finished by the time I get back from Missouri. And Logan's in this now. So now are you here. having I, a differing opinion? Yes, well, because okay, I am a it. huge Carrie Agos fan from... Who? The, Carrie Agos. That's him in Gilmore. Carrie Agos. Carrie Agos. That's two names. That's his name. Carrie. First and last. Oh. Carrie okay. Agos. But how you From said From the that? Good Wife. Carrie Agos. Oh, Carrie Agos. <laughs> Carrie Agos. Okay. From the Good Wife. The Good Wife. And we and love. I was Logan. a fan of him mm -hmm. in that show, and so now he's in this one. I love it. Yes. So I'm finally like, kind of connected to the show because we have the like Luke and Lorelai thing happening. I really hate the grandma and grandpa situation that's going on right now, but. Like, um, are they fighting? They're separated. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, going through that. And I like it right now. So, I usually watch that while I'm so doing that. So, in what season are you in? Is that season five? Yeah. Okay. So, it took five seasons to remotely enjoy. Yes. <laughs> I, it was but tough. What I say, it took I me said, a year to get to I season five. I was like, you need to just get to the Logan part. Yeah. But it's funny because everywhere I was you in Googling, a different way. Everywhere, everyone was saying, like, the first three seasons are the best and then it goes downhill. And so you don't that feel was that so way. discouraging yes. because I was like, this no. can't be good. <laughs> this cannot be good. <laughs> if it only goes downhill from here, we are so, All right. well, so hey, far down. We've but got you on board more. Now. I'm ready. She's so, good. Okay. We can power through that yeah. rest of the show. I know. We're going to do it. Okay, um, after you watch your shows. Yes. So I do that and then I'll come down and either like hang out with Brett or we'll just go to bed depending on what time it is. And what was... Nothing. What do you like? Do you charge your phone next to your bed? Yeah. So Davy still sleeps in bed with me. Yes. And I have a bed bumper on my bed. <laughs> so I the my bed sleeper, bumper is great. It is, but like I don't have like this like cozy sleep no. area that's happening no. in my bed. I have me Brett, either right now. I have me and Davy and a bed bumper, and we're just like All I have to make sure squished. everything is like perfectly set up. Before yep. I, before Davy goes to bed, yeah, because as soon as I be. fall into bed, I'm not touching my phone. I'm you not touching my glasses. You have to get in there strategically. Yes. I also have to take out my contacts before I go to bed, which is a big thing, and put lip balm on. But sometimes I forget to take my contacts, and so I have to go all the way back downstairs, mm. and like it's a whole. Thing. You know what? You need like a little shelf right behind your bed that you can only reach with I your like. I can't though. Why? Because I can't reach it. I have a bed frame. Oh yeah. Big old like, bed frame. Yeah. I it's was just, just thinking, I was like, it'd be nice to have like and a little honestly, area. Just not, this is getting way too in depth, but like my bed frame has like a <laughs> gap in it. And so I have a pillow that's jammed behind it yeah. because my pillow kept sliding back and I wouldn't, I'd lose my pillow at night. So now it's just, it's so, a little fortress. Yes. I Got literally you. used to have the most comfortable bed. It was so, so comfortable. And then Brett found this bed. Oh yeah. This Jordan cooling has bed. eight sleep mattress. Yeah. Is that what it's eight called? Eight sleep. Yeah. I think it's eight sleep. And it's like a cooling or warming bed. And so we got this thing. I surprised him with it for Father's Day or something. And I had to get rid of my really comfortable bed. And so now <laughs> I'm in this like not as comfortable bed that also the pillow slides back because there's Does now a gap. Does he like it? Um, he likes it, but like it's an expensive bed. So like, do I you wouldn't prefer your other it. one? I prefer like... This is so hard Your to eyes say. Look so beautiful in this light. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. I don't want to like. I like it, and it's cool. But the thing is, is it's just like it's not as comfortable. So you're yeah. like taking one. It wasn't necessarily even a problem. Pick. Do you want to be hot and cold, or do yeah. you want to be so comfy? Yeah. I don't not know. Both. But Davy's like also at that point where like I love sleeping with my kids. Like I do. Like I'm not against sleeping with them. But she's at that point now to where she's, like, big. So mm -hmm. it's starting, like, before you, I didn't even notice her in the bed. And now, like, I notice her in the yeah. bed. So, I don't know. We're going to figure that out. can't not notice Davy in oh, a bed. Yeah, That's a big girl. Yeah. It's, it's a big girl. Love her. But she might be moving somewhere else when we get back from Missouri. We'll see. We should bring that bed up to your room and put it next I just, to your bed. Like, Davy's not going to be in I know. a non But wouldn't it be so cute if she slept in a bed? She, it would, but um, I just picture it's just Davey not going to happen. A bed. I know. And she needs to be constrained Cute. at night. Oh, she'll get up and look for a snack. That's <laughs> true. That is true. So, yeah. That's kind of my night. Pretty right. standard. It's, like, really boring. I don't have, like, any routines it's necessarily. Not, I, that's what I wanted to know. Okay. I think it's so interesting. There I it is. I love knowing what people do at it's night. A, it's <laughs> a fight 
it's a fight to <laughs> not sit on the counter and scroll. Yeah, that's what the it is. Counter the counter lean. I do that. The counter too. lean. Brett goes. On you have phone. assumed the position. Yep. And I'm like, I know. I okay. know. It's you the need worst. To, you need to physically remove me if from the ever, position. If you ever, if you ever see someone in a counter lean, just remove them yeah. from it. It's it's They're for like, it's for the you. best. I'll help you. Um, well, okay, one on. Are me. you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather look like a potato or feel like a potato? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'd rather feel like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Cause I want to look cute still. So you want to feel like a potato? But yeah. Okay. I could probably make a potato look cute though. Yeah. But this if you feel like a potato, you don't even feel cute. That's true. That's true. There Unless are I'm a French fry. Does it? Can I be a French fry? <laughs> I'd feel kind of cute if I was that. Did, did Brett pick that question? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so far my questions are better. I'd still pick, I'd still pick feel like a potato. Would you feel like a potato or look like one? Um, I pr- I like I hate feeling ugly. Yeah, I'd probably rather look ugly than feel ugly. Yeah, then I could, if I had the confidence and I was ugly, I'd be like, well, at least I don't actually like. Yeah. I don't feel. <laughs> at least I feel good. I feel great. Okay, well I can't change my answer. I just have to stick to that. Because, yeah, final answer, okay. I would feel like one. Okay. That's a vain the next answer. The question will be better. I'm sorry to start No, I like, you know what? Question. I like it. I'm going to erase my questions as I go. Also, I'm going to get all. Okay. Okay. What is something you know that you will never experience? What do you mean? Like, that. Oh, skydiving. Okay. Yeah. Like, it would be. Yeah. Like, there's <laughs> absolutely no way that anyone's ever getting me into a plane and jumping out of it. <laughs> it's so funny. I never had that desire but then like when all of them went skydiving oh. um, i watched i was like they made it look so fun oh, no. i was like bunch of idiots <laughs> bunch of idiots and they didn't tell their moms oh before. gosh oh no. yeah that would be that's I, ultimate i have zero desire to go skydiving okay since you or anything up high and like since you had that one fast name one more thing something that, that you'll never experience hmm. even if it's something you want to do but you're just like yeah it just never happened um probably travel like overseas far (laughs) turns like i will never see a different no like i i aspire (laughs) people are gonna think you're nuts for that yeah like i aspire to kind of see other things but i also there's a huge part of me just does not care at all because i don't want to oh yeah i don't want to travel at all and that is just like i don't know even if it was just that answer even if he wants to you and brett Oh, I couldn't, I like, you couldn't leave. That's why it's hard because like I couldn't like travel that far. Right. Without them. Without them. Like maybe one day that'll change. And like when you're older, when you're eighties, I don't know. Hey, you guys, you and Brett could become like adventurers when all your kids are out and married. A lot would have to happen. Yep. But you never know. I'd probably have to have like a, but for now, you know, you'll never experience Italy. Yeah. (laughs) And Italy probably wouldn't be where I really? chose. Really? Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful. Have you been there? I've seen movies. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. I just, like, I don't... Where would you go? Honestly, it's funny. Italy is the only place I have a desire to go to. Like, I feel... All and New Zealand. Like, like very to tropical. Oh, yeah. Like, tropical island type place. You don't have to go that far for it a tropical. I, I have to... No. 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 Would you go to Hawaii? See, I'm having a hard time even with that right now because Brett wants to go to Hawaii so bad, and I'm like, I, that's such a long flight. That is yeah. Like, see how I feel? I'm like, I'm not going anywhere far overseas unless I'm in first class. So it's a probably will never happen because I'm not going unless I'm in first class. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not worth it to me. We'll see. I'm not sitting we'll in a coach. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to be like someone would have to drug me. And then drag me yeah. onto You'd the have plane. To be I'd have to be like wake up and I'm in a different country, and then it would probably be a day of like calming my anxiety, and then maybe I would enjoy it. Oh my but gosh, that's I so know that funny. that's totally opposite of so many people. Skydiving and traveling travel. anywhere that is not in the United States. Yeah, I I am getting anxious. Live it up. Just for an, a flight that is two, not even two and a half full hours that I have to go on. Yeah, I'm but already with like kids is hard. So that's different. I just hate flying. I hate mm. flying with kids. I just. Oh, Jordan I just, likes her comfort. There's like, nothing wrong with that. 
just is what don't it is. apologize don't apologize mm. okay are if, you ready oh yes mm-hmm. are you yeah i'm good okay would you rather hit pause or rewind on your life right now or um, fast forward can i do things in rewind what do you mean like can i change things in rewind sure yeah i'd probably rewind and then fast forward to present day like what would you change um like nothing of significance just certain conversations i would have said different things or more Mm -hmm. you know okay without saying too many things because i can't give away things like you want to tell someone off (laughs) yeah like i would do things. you want to go back to the past to tell someone off yeah (laughs) i do i like, I want to go back. And then come back. And, and then go back. back. Yes, because then I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, in that time, man, it would have just been better if I handled it this way or said this. Mm-hmm. I don't regret, but it would be fun to go back. Huh. You know? Yeah. Or, like, um, yeah, I would make moves on certain, like, things that happened in life that would have, like, made me more, like, proud of myself. Okay. Like my past self. Where instead of being like, Darren, you're being such a little... Yeah. Like, um, what's that word? I keep saying spaz, but that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, spaz? you're being such a sissy. Yeah. You know? So then, yeah. like, do that. Come back and be like, dang, girl, look how you handled that. You're no sissy. Yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> well, do that now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, ne- right now, I am making all the right choices i never mess up now oh wow i'm just <laughs> kidding i'm so glad i'm so happy for you i probably felt that way back then too i never yeah. mess see, up see we ever. always ever no i don't always think that i'm doing the best but <laughs> i don't know interesting question. that was a good question was but that now better? yes it was did brett write that one too yeah he got asked that question in an interview oh, one really yeah. what did he say he said pause oh really yeah yeah, which was sweet because I was like, oh, he likes his life right now. Oh, yeah, that is sweet. Then I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have paused <laughs> because the best is yet to come. Yeah, but you got to live in the moment. Well, I am. Okay. That's like but saying... But you can either go back, you can pause, or you can fast forward. <laughs> so those are your <laughs> options. I go back to do the things I wanted to say, and then I would come back. The best is yet to come. That's a good saying because like tomorrow is the best to yeah. come. Not even like in months. It's like the next thing, the next, next moment, the next minute. This You're next right. question is the best. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Pick one quality about yourself that you'd say is one of the best oh, things about gosh. yourself. What is one of <clears throat> your best qualities? Um, I picked the best because people don't like answering that about themselves. <laughs> they like the worst quality better, but oh, um, I like this one better. Don't be modest. Just well, truly. I'm just trying, like, I think that a good quality that I have, but it also can be, it's a damaging quality also. Damaging? For myself. Oh, for you. However, okay. like, I do, I think it is my best quality, is that, like, it, I am genuinely a caring person mm-hmm. like i if i ask you how you're doing like i genuinely and you're listening want to know like how are you doing and like i do care about you yes and like if i've asked you that question i'm probably like still thinking about it later that day because i'm like yes. wondering how that is true to help i have witnessed this where she has like expressed how she like it, either if she was upset about something someone was going through and i'm like what how do you even like how did you remember that person was even going through that and she goes well she mentioned it like a week ago and i'm like oh my gosh that makes me feel so bad that i don't remember certain (laughs) things but she always remembers but god made us different yeah it's true that's just my thing and like i just it's a great quality thank you but it's i now understand (laughs) why you're saying but it can't it can be a lot because i can't like separate (laughs) yeah it's hard to separate things well like I they become know. your problem. It becomes my problem she a little bit, and it takes of their. Problems. I think it makes just like things harder than they need to be because it makes parenting really, really difficult. Because mm-hmm. I like care about my kids so much, and but like every time that they go through like a mood, yeah, it's like I'm riding it with them. I need yes. to be able to be more level-headed and be able to, 
you can't be like, let's be just drawn let them into the out. feelings. Yeah. You're like, I'm with you, girl. <laughs> yeah. And like last Sunday, oh my goodness. What was I last had, Sunday? I had these birds. Oh, I have this my bird family gosh. living in my backyard. Yeah. Who, like, I've watched them since they were eggs. And then they hatched and then they became little babies. And so their mom and dad has been there with them. And then I walked out to take trash out last Sunday and there was a dead bird on the patio. This was the first thing she said to me that morning. Yes. And I... She said, I think the mom is dead. Yeah. And I (laughs) automatically, because the mom and dad were not in the nest, they weren't there for a few hours. And I spent the whole day just crying. Like my whole day was just ruined because of this bird. And I was just like... She's so like worried thinking about the, the babies. babies are just alone up there. That they're not going to have a, a parents, and she even not gonna emailed eat. a I, bird rescue. I this is how trying to like get what I'm supposed to do, and like my whole day was just totally ruined because of these Did birds. Did they ever respond to you? Um, no, they wow. didn't. Wow, forgot, that is but terrible. Anyway, the <laughs> but then later on that. <laughs> Day. It's terrible. The mom and dad were back with the babies. And so then I felt like, I mean, still sad for that one bird. Like, that sucks. But, like, at least my birds <laughs> had their parents. Had their parents. They weren't back. orphans. So. And so it just, like, shows you. I just get caught up in emotions and feelings just so much. My whole day was ruined over a bird. Yes. And it was a very unproductive day because of it. But It yeah. was productive. You really cared for those birds. Yeah, Someone the whole time, had like, to. God tells us not to worry because even the yes. birds don't worry. I'm like, well, I'm this like, bird is yeah. dead. <laughs> like god wants me to worry about this he wants bird. me to worry i have to keep oh. tabs on this bird's life now yes oh jordan but the yeah, bird lady feel... she even got a little bird feeder in the back and now, now i've i've attracted so many birds yeah jordan's becoming the best jordan's a bird lady now so that's yeah. exciting so it's great for everyone okay um, i'm ready but yeah um okay what is the best thing that you've ever bought under 50 dollars Mmm, under fifty dollars. The best thing I have ever bought. Hmm. This is so hard to answer. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need a time frame. Most everything I buy is under fifty dollars. <laughs> but what's the thing that's like that brought you the most joy? Um Oh my gosh, this is the kind of stuff that I get so stressed about now. <laughs> what is, oh my gosh, pretty much any makeup product brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> That's the first thing. My my um, mascara was the first thing that popped into my <laughs> Your mascara? <laughs> yes, Your I'd use it every great. day. I know. That's a great, great purchase. But that's such a stupid answer. Um, ugh. I don't know. So many things I have bought. What's something that you continue to rebuy because you love it so much? Oh, under $50. Um, wine. <laughs> Is there like a specific one, though, that you will always rebuy because it just brings you so much joy? Yes. I love my Sideshow wine. Sideshow Cabernet. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to say that. Okay. Sideshow Cabernet. Man, I just... I look at... After this, I'm going to have so many You're answers. You're going to with so many things. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. I, Your tanner? My tanner. Like, I use so many things that I love. I love my self-tan. It's twelve ninety nine. Yeah. My favorite one. My mascara. My wine. Um, oh, something that I don't always buy myself, but I love... So it's like a treat. I get the big thing of tzatziki sauce. Hmm. Yep. There you go. That's a what good kind? one. I don't know. It's the one from Costco. <laughs> the Costco the tzatziki. The big one. <laughs> oh, maple syrup. Maple. See, these are okay, all. What, like, if something that you have breaks, you're replacing it that day. Because it's essential to your everyday. Mm. Dude, I don't know. No. Mine's a wet brush. Oh, that's a good one. That's like, a really I, good one. You know those products that you're like, why yes. does not everyone have I this? I have a wet brush. But do you have mine? Your paddle one? Yeah. No. no. I have like the kid ones. Yeah. No. 
You'd hate my brush. I, I, that is one thing that I'm just like, why are you using that brush? I, like when I went to mom's house and I said, where's she your brush? She has the same brush as me. No, she had oh, this like mom wooden a like, weird brush, like something like, vintage. That's literally like two yes. inches wide. Yeah. And I'm like, what you doing? That hurts your yes, head. When it you does. Use it's it. one of those things where I'm like, people live like this. <laughs> like why? What is wrong Use with a you? brush that's made for your hair. You know what though? That question made me feel pretty good about myself that i'm pretty low maintenance yeah right yeah would you, you say i'm low maintenance yeah i'd probably rebuy that milk frother oh yeah yeah i like my but I it like, also goes to show like there's a lot of things over 50 that yeah would, would make the easier the question easier yeah it's true i feel like over 50 yeah yeah oh my what, gosh over 50 what was the question again what the best thing over best thing over 50 dollars um Probably that Lulu jacket. I love mm-hmm. that one, the black quilted one. Yeah, that is I a good jacket. I love that jacket. I feel like all Lulu jackets. Yeah, that would be. Also, I love my Noble Trainer Pluses. Mm-hmm. I know you That's do. That's 150, and I would buy those. Like if those got burned, yeah, both my pairs, I'd be like, I need to buy another pair of those. Yeah, that'd be my. That'd probably be my staple because I wear those like every day. Every day. Yeah. You know, I just love them. I like it. You're like, I don't like them, but I love them. Yeah. Love I love them, them for on you. you. I love them for you. <laughs> love them for you. Maybe I'll bring those to Missouri. Maybe that'll be my shoe. I love them. Okay. Sorry. That maybe had me way too thinking in my head. Don't ask me one like that again. Okay. I'll do my best. I'm just <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see. Um, oh, you kind of answered that one with one other one. Okay, what here is a material okay. one? Okay, what's one of the best gifts you've ever received that has left an impression on you? Oh gosh, like just something you remember getting that was like for whatever reason. It could have even hmm. been a bad gift, and you just left an impression on you. Oh wait, no. The oh. question was, what was the best gift? The best gift. The best gift that you remember. Well, I thought that this was like one of the sweetest mm-hmm. gifts. Was for my birthday when Brett t- talked to Mariah Peters. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> I was tell like, them what happened. Okay, I was obsessed with Mariah Peters. She's a Christian singer, and like really obsessed this was before kids yes and um brett got a hold of her and said my wife like really admires you like could you i don't even could you give her a birthday shout out or something i don't even know exactly what it was he he asked asked for for, like a video message from her or something something but she literally so on my birthday i opened up and i had something i got a gift he got you like a shirt yes something from her and something else and yeah he got you that brave sweatshirt thing the white one and then it said brave yes her yes. merch okay. and then a bracelet yes, or something that is true and then it was a video message of her singing me happy birthday and she said hi jordan yeah it was so cute it was like a personalized like that little was really, happy really birthday sweet. which i just thought was so sweet you were so embarrassed but i so was sweet. i was so <laughs> so embarrassed but it was also like so cute and then she thoughtful. married um the guy Joel from Smallbone. from for king and country and then we worked their merch booth mm-hmm. so i got to meet his brother yes that was fun yeah that was the closest you ever came to meeting her. So close. Just hung so out with her brother-in-law for a minute. Yes. Yeah. That was fun. That but, was good. But that was a sweet. That a sweet is. Gift. That was a good gift. <sighs> Any gift you give me is my You're impression. So That's so sweet. Is do you have a favorite gift that you can remember? Um, I feel like everybody is really good gift givers. Like I do like all the yeah, gifts. Yeah. Pretty I much have. like anything I've ever received. Just every. <laughs> I love. I, the thing is, it's like all the gifts I get are just so thoughtful gifts mm-hmm. and usually just like very generous gifts. So then I just get overwhelmed. So I can pretty much remember every gift anyone's ever gotten mm-hmm. me. I can. I'm a big gift receiver. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> I love it. I if love anybody gifts. wants to get me a gift. <laughs> I do. Well, I it's just it. a sweet thing that people spend time picking something out for you. I feel like you're the easiest person to get gifts for. I do love I will anything. literally be trying to find something for myself like yes. while I'm shopping. And I'm like, Darren would love this. Yes. Darren would love this. So I literally was like shopping the other day online because I was trying to find myself something. And the whole time I'm like, oh, 
I kept adding things to the cart. I'm like, for Darren. For Darren. See, that's for Darren. So and then nice. I had to like narrow it down to one thing. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get her Did you one get of me these things. things. Yeah, you got, got me something. Didn't I? I told you last night that I have a gift for you. Where is it? It's gonna be. It's getting delivered to mom's house this week. Oh. Because I got her something too. Oh. <laughs> a gift. A Wednesday gift uh, or a Tuesday yeah, gift. Yeah, whenever it gets there, it'll be that day. <gasps> I'm so excited. But, See, that's so nice. Yeah, I, you're very fun to shop for. Because I just know what you like yes. and you have such a wide array of things. I that do you like a very wide and array. And it's like of the things. things that I'm like, oh, I'd love to like have that myself, but like Darren would pull it off so well. So it's just like just fun. get one for you too. Oh. Oh, I just couldn't. I couldn't do oh. it on so many Everyone things. Everyone says, I can't pull this off. I can't pull that off. I'm like, you just put it on. You just put it on. But then I'd and be then like you the walk goober. Out of the house. I'd no, goober. you just feel, you feel like a potato. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, see, that's why I don't want to feel like a potato. <laughs> but you won't feel like a potato after a while when you know you're like, oh yeah, I do look cute in this. I think once I hit 35, I will 30, probably. That's feel the time. 35 <laughs> is the time. I'm hopeful for your 35. I'm hopeful for you. <laughs> okay, city or farm and why? Farm now. I used to be city. Yeah. Farm. Want farm. I want farm so bad. Not like a working farm necessarily. Yeah. I like that's You where, want someone else to work oh, it. Oh yeah. Like I'm not interested in working a farm. I'm yeah. interested in visiting the animals and like having a relationship with the animals. I don't want to any but, more f- animal relationships. Well, like I like I would love to have a horse. <laughs> yes. A couple donkeys, like that kind of thing. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't want to do the farm work. I'm not yeah. ignorant to how much work that is. Like does Carson like the farm work? Yeah, he would I think do it. I, don't, I mean, we've never had a farm, so like, we don't know. Well, but he that would enjoy to him. Oh yeah, like if he had a farm, he would enjoy that. Yeah, he'd probably be like picky on what we get. Yeah, because some things are just more work than others. But I would. I think there's certain aspects of it that I would like. But I love the idea of having farmland mm-hmm. and having now something I am interested in. I want to start a flower garden. Okay. Which I have to do a lot of learning about. But that is what I would want on my farm. A flower garden. A flower garden. Like a pretty big one. Yeah. Um, if anybody knows of any <clears throat> land. Yes. We're looking in the for land. <laughs> we're looking for land in this area. Um, about 10 acres. At least. Right? 10? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. We're going to have to go a little out of the city. (laughs) But that's the other thing. I love the city, though, so I have to be able to drive. To drive to it. Yeah. In, like, under an hour. And, like, when you say city, what does the city have to have to, to like... Oh, well, like what has to be like within my, driving my distance? comforts would be I need to have a nice grocery store. I don't like droopy grocery stores. Okay. And it would have to have a coffee shop and it would have to have like a cool local restaurant, at least okay. one, like a cute one that takes like pride in things with like good food. Okay. That's really all I need. And then just, a church. Just all those, those things. things. <laughs> That's four things. I would need those. But other than that, it would be fine because like yeah. on my farm i also want like a big gym yes that would be fun so that like it would just be there yeah i would love to have a farm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i feel like that's like our dream yes. and goal right Ugh. now is to like to have land for all of our family to, to get just on, build houses but like that's just it's hard because realistically so far off i think well let's not say that because yeah. I am excited for it. So we just have to pray for God to show us somewhere to go. God's going to tell us to go to Missouri. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, there's land there. (laughs) That's the problem here. There's no land for miles and miles away. And then it's a desert. So you kind of got to have like, yeah, you know, you kind of want trees and grass. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah. But okay. That was a good question. Okay. You'd feel your answer is probably the same. Yeah, like I hate cities. Yeah. Oh, I know you hate cities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know I like you the hate suburbs. cities. See, Jordan's like, I'm all about the burbs, y'all. <laughs> I need that super target, a Marshalls. <laughs> yes. But nothing else. I don't need any TJ skyscrapers. Max, yeah, no. I like visiting cities like with skyscrapers, but if it has a there's something about one-way streets that stresses yeah. me out well so no like much. i don't want to drive i think that if i could plop myself somewhere mm-hmm. for one day i would want to do new york city alone okay not to cut you off but did you hear about the um 
the community that's being the neighborhood that's being built in Tempe where there's zero cars. What? Yes. How is that so, a possibility? It's it's I gotta find the name of it. No cars? Do they yes. have to park a mile away? It's for people like New Yorkers who don't have cars. Oh. But it's got a whole Does it have a town? It's like a little town. I don't know if town is the right word, but there's shops and restaurants. A little suburb. But there's no asphalt at all. And there's like a bunch of bird scooters on it. There's a bunch of bikes. That's but cool. But you can't. Um, I'm doing that try. sounds fun, actually. No car community Tempe. What's it called? Cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac is there a picture? Tempe. So Brett was just telling me about this. Is it already built? I think it's being built. Cul-de-sac. That's such a weird word. I always thought it was cul-de-sac. 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 It's a car-free rental. Cul-de-sac. Say that a lot. That's one of those yeah. words. When you say it over and over again, it starts to sound so weird. And like you get 15% off all your lift rides, free rides on the metro, car sharing at $5 an hour with Envoy. Or Envoy? Is that what it's called? 100 plus bird scooters on site. Wow. Over 1,000 bikes. Studios from 1300 a month. Yeah, so look it up if you're interested and see what we're not seeing. have a car. <laughs> it's called cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac. And it's in I, Tempe. They have pictures of the inside. I'm like, I want to look at the... Yeah, see, this oh. is how it's laid out. It's laid out so oh, strange. Oh, it's so messy looking, yes, though. Yes, very, very messy. It looks but like... But the builder of it is just this young guy Brett found on Twitter, and he was, like, looking at it, and he's like, oh, this is here in Arizona. That is so nuts. The crazy? way the buildings are laid out, it looks like that movie Downsizing. Did you ever watch that? I did not. No. That's how it looks. Okay. Anyways, go look that up. Yeah, look it up. Cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac. Okay, that was so much promotion. That was for something we know nothing <laughs> for about. all of honestly. our listeners, you guys. Okay, um, here we go. Name one movie you could watch again and again, and one movie that you'll never watch again. Oh, goodness. Um, one movie that I will never watch again was that movie, it like traumatized me and i didn't realize oh, what i was gosh. watching wait <sighs> it's got straw dogs oh gosh okay there's one oh. that i'll never watch again <laughs> there's straw probably dogs. a lot that you um <laughs> citizen a law-abiding citizen yeah i will never watch that again i <laughs> a bunch of some people did favorite it. name some movie. people who like obviously didn't care about me put that on while i was in the room mm-hmm. telling me how good of a movie that was and that ruined me so yeah. law abiding movies like that in straw dogs. Um, no. if, yeah, if there's a rape scene in any movie, do not put it on around me. Yeah. Or at least give me a uh, Honestly, no one up. should watch. No one should movies. watch. <laughs> um, okay. And then a movie that you would watch again and again. Mm. That you just love and adore. It can even I be a Hallmark movie, Jordan. Love, um, I do love all Hallmark movies, but I really really love like The Other Women. Mm, that woman great movie. And uh, what happens in Vegas? Anything with those. Cameron? Diaz. I love Cameron Diaz. <laughs> oh my gosh! Jordan's like any one of Cameron Diaz's yeah. movies. But those are like my favorite movies that I could watch over and over again. And you do? Well, you have? Do. Yeah, that's good. That's. What about you? <laughs> do you have? Um. Any? Yeah, I have. So I will never watch um, Avatar again or Life of Pi. I'll oh, never watch Life of Pi right there up at the oh top. Oh my gosh, yeah. Life of Pi and Avatar are probably at my top that I will never watch. Um, one that I will never or never watch again. One that I'll never just watch in general is Guardians of the Galaxy. Very against that. Why? <laughs> um, I don't like adult um, talking cartoon type stuff. Is there cartoons in there? Like Bradley Cooper's like a fox or something. Oh really? Like I Brad, guess they I know say, nothing about. They say Bradley Cooper's in Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm like, no, he's not. <laughs> he's, I know uh, nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, and it's also tarnished because they took out the Hollywood Tower of Terror in oh. California Adventures and replaced it with Guardians of the Galaxy at Land's yeah. Edge or whatever. Yeah. And that was a that was the fall of Disney for me, to be honest. <laughs> done. It's done. Over. And that was seriously tragic to me. <laughs> so that would be mine. Okay. Okay. All right. If you were to Oh, wait. Me- I didn't say my one that I would watch over and over again. Oh, yeah. I, I did watch 500 Days of Summer oh, yeah. over and over, over and, over, and over, over again. The Notebook. Yeah. And over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. And then I do love Flipped. I'd probably watch that yeah. one over and over Those and over again. Good. Solid movies. Yep. Solid choices. Top, my top three. Um, if you were stuck at one age forever, what age would it be and why? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> you're stealing my number <laughs> we don't even know what 35 holds i know but i just feel it's promising it's a head and then i'll be enjoying all of my things my mm-hmm. farm yes and my kit yes <laughs> the farm has to happen in the next six years so true yeah 35 or if i had to pick like an age from the past i'd probably pick 17 oh my Ugh. 17 was great you liked 17 yeah huh? i really liked 17 i was shopping all the time i was just free doing my thing yeah very uninhibited driving yeah coffee all the time that it was, was a good time huh? it was a good time good, my 17 good time was good. sorry <laughs> sorry about your 17 <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, is it my turn to ask yeah, you? It's okay. Your turn. Okay, okay. I gotta get. Okay. How do you think people perceive you, and how do you wish people would perceive you if it's different? Um, Does that make sense? I. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is, like, something... This is something you do know. Like, how do you... Like, you always are, like, people just probably see me as. What would you think people... How do you think people see you? See, I'm really afraid that I come off, like, the complete opposite of what I am. Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. Okay. Yeah, like, I feel like because I am not, like, the most outgoing person, like, Mm -hmm. I feel like that can be taken as, like... I am unapproachable and like yes. I don't care about anybody or like want to be friendly. It's really just like a like insecurity thing to where I am not going to be the natural. I, it's very hard for me to be yes. the the first person to make a step, and that it makes me scared that I'm perceived like kind of like uptight or like I don't care about you or yes, like, like more I, standoffish I'm than you type yeah. feeling because that's like the opposite of how I actually feel inside, but I'm afraid it comes off that way. Yes. Because I'm quieter. Exactly. See? And, yeah. So that you wish people would just know that you're yeah. like, I'm very caring and I do want to talk to you. Yes. But my personality is not yeah. that way. So people who don't know you could be like, Which, oh yeah, she's But I think that, that like once you start to, like obviously once that first conversation and that barrier is broken, yes. then I like, think then that goes away yeah. oh yeah probably like your initial but it is it's like you gotta get to know me I don't and that and i and it could it takes a little bit of myself yes i'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone yes. lately and so i think i'm doing a better job no but that's yeah. true that's a good reminder though whenever you have a perception about someone it's like probably the opposite. it's probably the opposite well unless it's a good perception yeah <laughs> then let's hope it's <laughs> then <laughs> let's hope it's good <laughs> yeah Oh, that's so true. That is good. Um, okay, what is one book absolutely everyone needs to read? Aside from the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody Always by Bob say, Goff. I'm like, I already know your answer. Yes, to which I lent out my copy. Then I still haven't gotten it back. Brief syn- synopsis? Oh, yeah, um, a brief summary. Summary. It talks about pretty much almost just like what we were talking about, about how, like, we are to like love everybody always Mm -hmm. regardless and kind of the tagline for the book is to love difficult people because you are one of them Mm -hmm. and so the book kind of talks about a lot of different um times where like he's been shown love or he has loved people and like learned so much about them because just like that question people are so much more than how you perceive them and so it's kind of like challenges you to like push past people's like outer shells Mm -hmm. and like really get to know people so you can love them and it takes the focus off of you and like your life and like your I guess I'm not your life but like your attention being only on yourself and placing it on other people yeah and like how can I love people today rather than how can I have myself a good day it's like how can I make someone else's day yeah and I just think it's a great principle for always and it is written by Bob Goff who's a Christian but it's good for people who are not Christians either Mm -hmm. um all of his books if you're like not a faith person they're like he says he writes for like anybody he's like I write for the prisoner the homeless person just anybody it's like that's kind of how his style is yeah so it's very approachable it's an approachable book and it's so good it's very impactful i have read it multiple times i loved it um as far as a non 
fiction book. Um, I'm sorry, a fiction book. I would read out of the books that I have read. <laughs> I loved November 9th by Colleen Hoover so much. I recommend it to November anybody. 9th. Yeah, November 9th, I love. I just loved it. And Reminders of Him was really good, too. Those are probably my top two Colleen Hoover books. And um, in counting. But, yeah, those are great. If anyone wanted to start reading those, those would be my top suggestions. Love that it. was good. Do you have a yeah. book? What was your What would your book be? Oh, Redeeming Love. Oh, yeah, that's a 100%. good one. 100%. I feel like everybody reads should read that book. That is a good book. It's the most beautiful story. It is. And, and it's a great movie. Yeah. Yes. That's an intense a movie. movie. Yeah. It's like, and I'm sure, like, based off of movies, like, I'm sure The Shack is probably a good book, oh, too. Oh, my like, gosh. Because the that, Shack. I feel like Redeeming Love book is a book you, every, every mm -hmm. person needs to read. And then, like, The Shack is a movie everybody needs to I read. I love the movie. I didn't read The Shack, which I probably should because I love the movie so much. But I'm such a visual person that the movie was so good. But if you've never seen The Shack, you need to watch it. It oh. is a must-watch movie. It's like, so you good. will cry so much, but... It's amazing, especially if you wrestle with, like, believing in God or, like, why, like, just why any... bad things happen. Yeah, why bad things happen. Like, The Shack is so good. Very, very sad, but so, so very good. impactful. And it's just a beautiful movie. Yeah. I love it. Could go on. Could go on. I went through, like, a season of making people watch that with <laughs> me. Like, I was like, come over. I did it with, yeah. like, multiple people. I was like, come on over. We watched it in, like, the middle of the day. I went, I think I watched it, like, every day for a whole week because of that. That was drained from yeah, tears. it is draining. Okay. What is, or this was funny that this, we talked about this just, like, earlier, and it wasn't even intentional, but I said, what was your first job and your top memory from that job? Oh, like, gosh. what's something that you'll never forget from your first job? Um, so I worked at Waterworld was my first job, which is so funny because yes, we, we were just Waterworld is a water, water park World. here that yeah. is now it's Six Flags, like Hurricane Harbor. Yes. But it used to be Waterworld, which yes. was like a safari themed the yeah. water park. Yeah. And it was, that was like our favorite thing. Yes. But you worked there and you were like only there. 14. I was 15. I was whatever the age is that you can work somewhere legally. But like I was only allowed to work a certain amount of hours. So yes. it was like there were days where I was like they were rushing me out of there because yes. I had to get out. Um, I It's funny because like I feel like I don't have a lot of bad memories. But now as an adult thinking back <laughs> to that job, I'm like I don't feel like that was safe. No. Because... I like worked the tube rental and I it's so hot here like there were there was like no AC like no now the even water covering. parks like all like yeah state-of-the-art but yeah back inside then, no. like back then you were outside like in the, the whole tube time. like the tube lot A there wasn't hut. even <laughs> there wasn't even covering like you were just out like the amount of people who dropped not dead but went down <laughs> from like heat exhaustion was every single were day dropping like flies yeah it was and even you go into like the break room and it's all hot like everything oh, yeah. was just hot all the time and it just was miserable it's like, so funny just, the things you do as a kid get, getting heat stroke <laughs> and i and i was getting paid 575 an hour is what it was that back then so, so funny that's what minimum wage was 575 to sit out in 100 and 15 and plus. you worked like I mean you could only work a yes. certain amount but like but I worked a, like yeah the, a you lot. did it a lot like I did the max of whatever you yeah could do. like you were like working I, more than most 15 I'll never forget like when I got moved into admissions because then I at least got to get inside but it wasn't somewhat. even like it wasn't, AC it was like no a it was fan. like there's like a fan in there yeah <laughs> but oh it was that was, I, place was not run correctly I look but. at places like that though because that is seriously what places were like when we were kids things were not as like high technology or like yeah. built even the way things are now because remember like even if you got like a season pass mm -hmm. you had to go into like a trailer yes and get your picture taken yeah. so like the trailers are like and where it's i was working. so weird now thinking back to where i'm like now it's like they have this huge like entry yeah you go in it's all air conditioned and yeah. i'm like wow these kids just are so spoiled with the yeah. ac <laughs> you don't even you don't even know you don't even know. and now minimum wage is whatever it is it's like more than double <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
little fancy so funny. huts with <laughs> air conditioning. That was such good times, though. I loved the water park. Yeah. Like that age where you go to water parks and yeah. you love it. But I loved it. Like, I loved yeah. it so much because we, like, with did your night splash shorts. Out. Yeah, I had to wear the goofy outfit, but then we would just yeah, go to, like... Yeah, night splash was so fun. We'd just See? chill at the water park as soon as that we got off work. That was such a good, good memes. I loved it. Yeah. Hey, this is a stupid one. I'm ready. If you had to jump into a pool of something other than water, Did Brett what would it be? Brett, this question? <laughs> I <know>. Brett. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> um, if I had to jump into a body of water that wasn't water. Um, jump into a pool of something. Yeah. I, did you hear what my story was with Rhea earlier? No. I said, she goes, tell me a story. And I go, okay, once upon a time, there was a canyon with a lake in it. And the lake was full of slushy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> and Would I said, slushy? well, no, but it's weird. That's a question because yeah. I said, and when the, when the kids would walk into the canyon, they would get handed a giant straw oh, and they can funny. stick it in. I should write a children's book. You, you should. <laughs> um, I would jump into a pool of, mm, I like. I think the immediate answer people are gonna think I would say is coffee or wine, mm-hmm. but I don't, don't want to swim. No, in it. I don't. I don't want that on my body. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that's less like thick and yeah. colored. Um, probably. Ooh, and that wouldn't burn. Yeah, I was gonna say um, lemonade, but I don't want that. Too much sugar. <laughs> It's a, just a dumb question. It is. But these dumb questions make me think the most. Because then I'm like, is there a wrong answer to this? Um, what's a clear liquid that I could jump into? Coconut water. Coconut water. Yeah, I'd pick that. Brett. Just going to go with that. You're fired from these questions. <laughs> Potato. Water. Freaking. <laughs> freaking Brett. Okay, Jordan. What is something that you're too hard on yourself for? Oh, goodness. Everything. So you have to pick one. <laughs> um, hmm. I feel like... I really... I don't know. I don't know how to pick, like, one you, thing. You can do it. Uh, one thing I'm too hard on myself for. <sighs> I'm freezing. I don't know. Do I ask you a different question? No. I, like, because you said everything. <laughs> I know, but it's like, it's just like in general, I'm just hard on myself about everything. I don't know if there's like one specific thing. I feel like I've really like this year learned that I'm a perfectionist and I never knew that I was a perfectionist. Yes. And so I'm just hard on myself about like, and just pretty much everything Anytime you I miss do, your own marks that you yeah, set Yeah, I feel yourself. like everything that I do, I'm like, it could have been better, though. And, like, that, I could have, yeah, that, I should have done that, though. Jordan. So, kind of just, like, life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hard on myself with life. <laughs> like, Daily just, living. <laughs> just everything. I can do something really well and be like, oh, but I could have done Man, it better. I, if I lived like that, I know. that would be horrible for me. I'm, I am working on it, but, like, just finding like the okay giving yourself like, permission to be mediocre yeah <laughs> i don't want to be mediocre you're not going to be mediocre but, but you have to give yourself a lower bar that's what i'm saying yeah because you'll always be well above average you're so sweet but i don't know you will even you're when you are striving for perfection that's when you become more average because you're so stressed yeah let true. your free brain like take you to new heights yeah you know I feel like Bob Ross would be yeah. well done. Love it. Oh, I don't know. Do you have any not stupid questions about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually do well, like those questions. Okay. They make I, me just I like nervous. this one. I feel like it's more, it's fun. Okay. So I want to know. If you're forced to perform in a talent show tomorrow, what would be your act? Oh, yeah. Well, I, well, I will also put in, I wish that I could sing. That yeah. is my one skill I wish I had. Like, how do you make someone sing? You can't. Can well, you? I've, like, Googled this because yeah. I do want to sing. Mm-hmm. It is truly, like, I have researched how do you sing well. When I was a kid, I used to pray that I would wake up and have a good singing voice. Mm-hmm. So there were some mornings I would practice 
and it's like nope not yet not yet gotta pray not again yet. tonight <laughs> when i was like yeah god will grant my prayers like a genie um yeah that's like so i still think if i were in a talent show you still think sing. i think I, I think i would still You're sing, sing. Yeah. i would sing this is me from the greatest show oh <laughs> i'd uh, probably like yes, dress up please. very theatrically yeah. and then i would do a performance yeah. of it I would, I would i would actually so i would probably lip sync yeah but do the performance and yeah. that would you're be my a good talent. performer because i think that i was born to be on a stage performing yes like when i am with the girls and like we put on a song yeah and like i know all the words and i'm yeah. just performing i'm like i'm so good at this <laughs> like if someone yes. were to give me a microphone my kids love performing with yeah you. like i feel like i'm like i know how to demand my fake audience, I get them on their feet, you know, yeah. we're all, yeah, any performance like thing. But I also get nervous if I have to perform, so I'd have to get over stage fright first. Yeah. But I think that's, um, I think God, when he was making me, he's like, we could have her be this, or we could have her be a singer, and he chose the other. <laughs> he chose the other. <laughs> but a little part of me still hopes one day that I'll one wake day up with a good be. voice, because it is funny, I don't have remotely a good voice, so... Yeah. I don't think you have a terrible voice. Well, it doesn't have much range. Yeah. I can hit some notes. Some of them, every yeah. once in a while. And, like, depends on the song. There are some songs that I can sing. Yeah. Hello Beautiful by the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I, That's a hard song. I know, but I have hit that note yeah. that they sing. And wow. I did it one time in front of a friend, and they go, Darren, that was so good. They might have been nice, but, but I you've lived took with it, it every oh, day. I, took it. I was like, like, yeah, that's my song. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> By the that's Jonas hilarious. Brothers. Yeah, so who knows? Who knows? Okay, I'll ask you one more question. Okay. But I'm going to, I pulled this question sheet up, which this is actually a really good, it's called relationship check in questions on okay. Pinterest. And um, this is good for like marriages because one of them it says, "Are we happy with the distribution of responsibilities and chores?" <laughs> <laughs> like it's a great question to ask. That is funny. Um, this is a good thing. I should post this on our on our Instagram because one of them that I'm going to ask you um, that is like a good one. We're not married, but you get the point. Yeah. Okay. Um, when have you felt the most loved lately? Mm. When Brett made this list for me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Were you Even stressed? though he did such a bad no, job. No, Brett did a great job with the questions. The potato <laughs> because, one. Because honestly, like, it means so much when someone when, yes. like, sees that I'm stressed about something and they take something off of my shoulders. That is so nice. It's that made me feel loved. <sighs> that made me feel loved that Brett wrote the questions <laughs> for this podcast. All ten of them. <laughs> he probably Googled questions to ask somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather look or feel like a potato? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But this is a good... It says, um, what can I do regularly so you feel loved and valued? It's yeah, a good question to is. ask your friends, too. Yeah. And it was really sweet because my sister-in-law, like, last night just texted me saying, hey, can I get you some farm fresh eggs oh, that is so from my sweet. friend? And that was really, like, thoughtful. Yes, and that, I felt like, you know, that was really sweet. So things is. like that. Things that people are like, oh, I'm thinking of you. I'm going to do this for you because yeah. I know you like it. Mm -hmm. That is the best. When have you felt the most love lately? Um, this week on my birthday, everyone was so nice to me. Mm -hmm. I got unexpected gifts. Yeah. Carolyn bought me a Stanley. That was so nice. That, so that was like so random and sweet. Yeah. Taylor brought me flowers to the gym. Ashley bought me a sweet Bible study thing. That's so sweet. I mean, everything that I got. But it was just like the sweet, like, people little thinking, thinking about of you. me things. That was so sweet. I agree. And I just love stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hanging out with you. <laughs> Thanks. And everything. And you buying me dinner. Yeah. For my birthday. That's what I'm going to say it was for. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Me and Jordan got a skillet cookie last that night. That was so good. I could eat a skillet cookie. Was it right a now. chocolate chip cookie or mm -hmm. was it caramel? It was they, chocolate chip with caramel drizzle oh, on caramel top. caramel drizzle. Drizz. The drizz. Got the drizz. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a quick. Oh, like, what are we doing? This or that? Oh, we have another. <laughs> just really fast because there's only. Bring it all. There's just really. A okay, I'm ready. Okay, wait. No, I want one more question. That's not that. For you? No, for you. Oh, I was like, I've got. This is just one. an easy. Question. Okay. Okay. The nutrition aspect does not count. Okay. It's just genuinely based on what your preference is. Okay. It doesn't matter. What is a coffee drink aside from just plain? That I love? Yeah. Pumpkin spice lattes. Old pumpkin the spice. old pumpkin spice. A four star must ruin it. Um, yeah. Like circa 2009. Yeah. <laughs> the old. That was pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh. I will get a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. But we have, we got, um... The Americanos with cream, and then we add like pumpkin mm -hmm. sauce in it. Yeah. And that's really good that's because better. the problem is with the pumpkin spice lattes, I don't know what they do to them now, but they taste chemically. Yeah. And so when we add just the pumpkin into the Americanos, yeah. it's a little less. Yeah. And not, they, you don't have to do as yeah, much. Yeah. And it. you don't have to do as much, but they definitely change the recipe, which is a damn shame. Yeah. I hate when like places change recipes. Like we talk about with Peter Jungle, like yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. It wasn't broken. Don't yeah. try to improve something, you guys. Yeah. Keep we it find the way like it a is. Good pumpkin spice um, <sighs> recipe. Yeah. With our Nespresso. We situation. should also try um, the pumpkin spice lattes from like other places. Do you think Black Rock has a good one? Um. So my problem with because I've tried like elevates i've tried dutch mm -hmm. it's all like very pumpkin -y. yeah too pumpkin it's not like we a, want the more fall kiss did yeah, i spit on you, you just it's fine <laughs> <Okay>. pumpkin <laughs> yeah, <it's> like <laughs> shower uh, pumpkin. yeah so but we're gonna have to like i feel like we've been drinking so much of our nespresso's yes we need to find like a good recipe sauce. or yeah. sauce or like something okay, that we can do, do ourselves so we can add it into yeah. our mm -hmm. so yes. we just this fall is gonna just okay we're gonna figure that out for all of us here yeah we'll come up with it if you have one if you don't have an espresso you should make that a goal yeah if i if i had to say um a purchase oh, yeah, over, over 50 yeah the nespresso. nespresso except i think my espresso was 50 we got it you got on a good deal yeah you did yes very very good um okay what's so this is what was oh this, this or, or that? that i don't know i wonder if they're gonna hear your dishwasher singing that yeah. song we're in the kitchen right now it's always so funny because like the camera's on us so i assume everyone's watching us but no we probably are just we're in my kitchen watched. and my dishwasher just finished yeah and it's like a samsung one so it makes the whole if you can song. see me i'm doing these um is this 90s or you're I think it's 2000s. 2000s. Um, hairstyle. So I look a little bit. Jennifer little Garner. Jennifer Garner esque. Okay. Okay. Salty or sweet? Salty. Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Hot or cold? Hot. Beach or mountain? Beach. Dog or cat? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Oh my god, I was trying to make them up on the spot. But I, can't. Okay. I can't think of the pressure. Let me ask them for you. Where's your notes? How'd you get out of it so fast? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Beach or mountain? Beach. Hot or cold? Cold. Breakfast or dinner? Ooh. Or breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Salty or sweet? Salty. Yeah. We're almost the same. Yeah. Actually, just cut down the middle <laughs> actually not at all when you said the hot or cold i'm like like hot or iced or like hot or like cold temperature yeah. weather yeah do you prefer hot or cold coffee um hot in the morning and then ice the rest of the day i have to have a hot cup of coffee in the morning okay it's the first thing i do do you prefer um at the gym do you prefer oh hot no <laughs> body weight stuff or weight <laughs> I'm like hot weather at the gym for sure body weight or what weights oh weight yeah um body mm. weight too much coordination and stuff no. bike or rower rower but neither um I hate them both so much okay I can't what would you any. bike or rower bike your eyes it bike. never used to be that way oh i've always liked really the bike more. Mm -hmm. i hate the rower so much oh the rower it's horrible my will to live but so the bike too it's all okay lame. the other one 
Uh, you like body, body weight, weight stuff? Yeah, I don't want to touch a barbell. Yeah, I do. Actually, if you had to do, what's your favorite um, like barbell movement though? Mm, like a uh, clean, a hang clean. Yeah, Jordan likes everything from the hang. I like, I like um, split jerks. Oh, if I had to gosh. pick something to do, those mm -hmm. are so fun. And I like power cleans. Yeah, I like just any type of cleans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing hang. I don't like the hang. I I like back squat too though. Nope, I'm getting to like back squat better. But low reps, <laughs> but <laughs> just one. I rather just do like one heavy two. one. <laughs> And then not like a lot. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I have been out of the gym for almost a full week because. I know. Jordan's been I, so sore. I have never been as sore as I have been this week. Where that is, you know what? Though, I usually can push through things and no. It is good, like that you got to rest a little bit. It probably was, but I don't know. Because otherwise, you don't slow down ever. Yeah. And Jordan is just such a beast. So but she needs my to just settle going down. to the gym is kind of my uh, wait time. It so is it also true. so you've also had from, like a little bit of a crazy yeah. um, week with just not going. It's like kids. a getaway. Yeah, I almost wish you would have just been able to come with me. I know. And just sat there, <laughs> sat on the sideline. I can't sit there. And <laughs> stretch. <laughs> do some. Do some rehab. Uh, rehab stretches. I was literally here trying to be like, what can I possibly do to I try? Know. I was like trying to stretch. That is the worst when it just affects like your daily life, especially yeah. with kids. It's just so I thought much. I was broken. Like I thought I was never going back. You were a little broken. Yeah. You poor thing. Poor baby. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. All right. I felt like that was good. That was fun. It was fun. That was fun. I feel like it's a little different. Um, it served no value to any of you. <laughs> <laughs> only entertainment just, yeah uh, if, purely entertainment yeah if you guys want to oh goodness so jordan's going to missouri for mm -hmm. a month 26 days 26, 26 days. days and then i'm also going to be going to missouri for about 10 days right is it 10 days mm -hmm. so our podcast we're gonna figure this out we need to discuss what we're gonna do because we're gonna be in different locations um so we might do like an Instagram live or something different for a couple weeks in August. Yeah. Um, but we'll let you guys know. But we're still here. We're still here, baby. Yeah. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to miss you. It's so weird. I know. It's going to be weird. But it'll only be how many days till I see you? 26 days. No, but how long oh, till I see you? 10. 10 days. Yeah, Jordan leaves I have on. to go a whole 10 days without seeing A her. whole 10 days, man. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm like telling him, I'm like, I'm just not going to see them for so long. He goes, it's 10 hey, days. They're coming here in 10 days. They are going there in 10 <laughs> days. I'm like, I spend every single day with her. It is true. We didn't see each other. Yes, was it? No, the day before yesterday. Yeah. And it was like, it was I was going weird. to bed and I'm like, that is weird. Because you sent me a picture of the girls and I was like, I didn't see them today. <laughs> That's so nuts. Yeah. That is the hard thing if, like, you bring the girls. Well, every time you go, you bring the girls, you never leave them. But, like, they get so big in, such a, in one month without seeing them. So, so weird. Yeah. Anyways, so, yeah. Well, I hope you guys had a, had a fun time listening. Yeah. <laughs> Any closing words? Mm, I don't what would I you leave them with today? Oh. If you could tell them one thing. You're doing great. Doing You're it. doing so, so good. good. Keep going. Keep going. Do something that brings you joy today. Yeah. Make Find time. Find something. Think. Take a second to think about what brings you joy. Yes. And then do one of those things. Yes. No excuses. There's yeah. always time. Okay. Always time. Even if it takes a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Do it. It's true. All right. We love you guys. Thanks for listening, Thank guys. you so much for tuning in. We will be back. Yeah. Sometime. Same time next week. <laughs> Okay. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye guys.